Have you wished you could go forward in time and skip a long day of meetings? Or travel back in time to avoid an embarrassing wardrobe decision? Well, now you can, thanks to the Science Channel. We'll show you how to build your own time machine. Before we start building, you need to know what time is. Okay, thanks. But to someone traveling at near the speed of light, your time is wrong. No, no, your watch is working fine. And it is correct for your time. But for this guy, traveling at near the speed of light, your time is way too fast. Time is relative. Hello. Uh, no, not a relative like your Uncle Herbert. Relative as in different for everyone, depending on their speed and gravity. First, we'll start with a simple jar and a bag of atoms, both of which can be found at any point in the universe or on the top shelf of your grandmother's pantry next to the box of powdered milk. Now, grab that jar and shake it. Shake it hard enough for the atoms to collide at near the speed of light. There you go. You've pulverized those atoms into a plasma bubble. Well, this bubble is tiny and hot as the center of the sun, so I don't think it will taste very good, but it is excellent for making wormholes All right, now grab that bubble and squeeze it until it implodes. Okay, okay, you're almost there. This time, throttle it like you mean it. Ah, that's it. Now you have managed to create a tiny wormhole that will either power your time machine or stretch you out like spaghetti and suck you into its nothingness. Unless you are exceedingly small, you will not be able to use the wormhole as it is now. So let's enlarge it with some good old-fashioned negative energy, just like Mama used to make. 
<laughs> no, not that kind of negative energy. We need the kind with anti-gravity properties. Something homebrew. That negative energy is as potent as a guilt trip at a family reunion. It has anti-gravity properties that will keep the wormhole from collapsing and will cause it to grow to a size big enough to transport that unwanted potato salad to the other end of the universe. Now, if we move one end of the wormhole to your office and the other end to your living room, then you can get to work instantly. Oh, but you want to time travel, don't you? Well, in that case, you're going to need to slow down the clock on one opening of the wormhole. Remember, to really slow down time, you have to go near the speed of light. So let's take a trip. Okay, let's set that wormhole in your office so you can get back to work. The time for this opening is 100 years in the future. But this opening's time is close to when we left. Congratulations! You now have your time machine. Enjoy it, but be careful. And be sure to read the owner's manual. We wouldn't want you to fall into any time travel paradoxes.